So what we have here, we, we have our cob oven that we made uh, about two months ago. And what you see the straw exposed is the insulating layer of cob that we put on the oven. And what we're going to do is finish it off with a few coats of lime plaster and that will protect the cob from weather. We have three parts sand, one part lime putty. The lime putty has been sitting, this is actually gorgeous putty that's been sitting for over a year, but you want to slake it for at least, um, or hydrate it for at least six weeks. We've wet down our cob so that it doesn't dry out the plaster. If it dries out the lime plaster, then it doesn't cure, it dries. And what you want it to do is actually cure by exposure to carbon dioxide as opposed to drying in place. So what we're gonna do is just um, put on a coat of plaster about half an inch thick. So I'm following the existing contours and just trying not to get more than, um, really you want to shoot for about three-eighths of an inch and not more than half an inch. So half an inch is sort of your maximum. And I'm always working the new plaster that I push on, I'm working it into the active edge of the plaster that's already in place. The other thing you can do is use a yogurt lid. Um, you want a nice clean cut that's smooth, you know, it's in a plane, so it actually looks kind of like a trowel. Flex it in your fingers and that will allow you to get into really tight spots and to adjust to crazy curves. It's a little bit slower than the trowel, but um, it affords you a lot more flexibility in, in terms of the shape that you're trying to achieve. We will cover it with plastic to make sure that the sun and the wind don't quickly dry out the lime. We want it to uh, cure and react with carbon dioxide in the air. So anywhere it looks white, that's already reacting with carbon dioxide. Yeah. Um, so you want to make sure that that's all nice and wet as well. Okay. So when I'm feeling everything, and what I feel for is that it feels tight, and it feels incredibly tight. So you did an absolutely fabulous job. Really, really, really beautiful job.